I'm Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Last month, I posted a video for Mother's Day, and since I'm an equal opportunity vlogger, today's video goes out to all the dads out there, or moms that will inevitably be creating the gifts for the dads in their lives. <laughs> Specifically, today's DIY is for the dads of furry, four-legged children, aka dogs or cats. Using the Cricut Maker and their library of pre-installed simplicity patterns, I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely adorable dog or cat coat adorned with a graphic perfect for Father's Day. So let's get started. Your first step will be to head to Design Space and create a new project by either clicking here or up here. From there, you can select Simplicity from the Project drop-down menu. You can see that there are hundreds of simplicity patterns already loaded into Design Space. There are doll clothes. There is women's accessories. There are stuffed animals and so much more. Find the dog coat that you like best and click to open the project specifics. On this screen, you'll find specific information on the pattern like sizing, all the materials you'll need to complete the project, prep instructions, and cutting instructions. At the bottom of every Simplicity Pattern project screen, you'll find a link to a PDF for the assembly instructions. These open in a large screen with the same illustrations and step-by-step -step instructions we're all so familiar with as garment sewists. Back on the project screen, you'll purchase your pattern and then click Make It. So when you go to make your pattern in the design space, you'll notice that just like our directions, it has the interfacing separated out, then it has the pink fabric um, separated out, and it has the blue fabric separated out. So like I said, I only need the body. So this interfacing fabric, I am going to just um, cut that out twice and not cut out these other two mats. So it's basically like starting a project, stopping it, and then restarting it again in order to get this mat cut out twice without these other mats. It's not as complicated as, it, as I'm making it sound. So what I've also done is went ahead and prepped some mats. This is my iron on vinyl that we'll get to later. This is my interfacing and then this gingham is my fabric. Um, these are cut out based on the dimensions that were in the instructions. So let's get to cutting. Okay, and because I am simplifying this pattern so much, I'm actually going to turn off the um, fabric pen. You see all these blue marks on here. Those would be marked automatically by the machine with a um, fabric pen unless I turn it off, which you can do right here. So once you turn that off, then you can see everything becomes very plain. I just don't need all those markings because I'm not adding the pocket, I'm not adding the leash thingamajig, um, and I can just basically eyeball where the um, Velcro goes. So as with any project from this point on, it's all the same. You just want to select your device. Um, now it is collect, uh, connecting wirelessly to my machine. And then once it does that pretty quickly, you want to check off the fabric that you're using. You can browse more materials here. Um, you can go to fabric and then it has a gajillion different fabrics for me to choose from. I did a test where I test cut 16 different fabrics in a recent video. So if you want to see that, I will have a link for it in the description box. But we are just gonna do medium fabrics like cotton, done. All right, now it tells me no tool required in clamp A because I'm not using the marking pen. Make sure I have my rotary blade in clamp B, which, check, we have the rotary blade. And then it's telling me to load my mat and press the load unload button. So it's just as simple as that. I am going to take this lining off of the mat. I am going to load the mat into the machine, being mindful of the guides. And then once that happens, it tells me to go ahead and press go, the Cricut logo button, and it's off. 
So at this point, the rotary blade is cutting around those shapes um, that will make up the main body of the dog coat. Because the blade is a rotary, it's round, it's actually cutting through the fabric like a pizza cutter would, um, rather than dragging through it like a knife would. So it's kind of like if you were gonna cut bread, um, and you needed to cut an intricate circle shape, for example, how it would be very difficult to do that with a knife, but with a pizza cutter, it would be easier. That's kind of like the, why do all my analogies always go back to food? I don't know, maybe that's something I should analyze. <laughs> anyway, so now we are cutting out the um, second of the outer shells of the dog coat. It really does go by quite quickly. Tells me that we're done. It unloads the mat and I'll show you. Once we peel it all away, you magically have your two shells of the dog coat ready to go. Okay, so now if you were making the pattern exactly like it said to, then we would just load our next mat, push the load button and push the Cricut logo button. But because we are skipping those other parts, we are going to cancel. Yes, cancel the cut. And then we are going to make it again. Again, we can turn off the fabric marker and click continue. Connect the device again set our material and then load in our next mat. Okay, and there you have it. We have our gingham and our interfacing both cut out. Now, while we have everything all hooked up, we are going to cancel the rest of this cut again because we don't need the ruffle and the pocket and all that jazz. And we are going to skip over to the vinyl portion. So I have put in a whole bunch of um, SVG files that I bought off of Etsy that to me symbolized something that a little boy dog would wear. These are all I think designed for like little newborn onesies, um, but they also apply to dog clothes as well in my opinion. So um, I just dumped them all in here because it's super easy to just pick and choose what you wanna make. Um, let's say I wanted to um, make Handsome Like Daddy, you can just click this little eyeball here and take away all of the others until all that's left is handsome like daddy. And then you just click make it. So now it is sorted that one into its own mat. When you're doing iron on vinyl, you need to make sure you mirror the image and then continue. While the computer is connecting to my machine, I'm going to go ahead and swap out my rotary blade for the fine tip blade. That's the uh, blade you wanna use when you are cutting vinyl. And it just pops right in very easily. And then I also want to select my material, which is iron-on vinyl. And then make sure the vinyl is placed on the mat the correct way, which is the shiny side down. So you can see a little bit of the shiny side there. You load the mat into your machine, press the load button, and then you press the logo button. Okay, we are all done with the vinyl and you can see it written on there. Now you need to get your weeding tool, which I keep in the little handy dandy um, caddy that is included on the machine and you just need to weed out everything that is um, been cut out for you. It's actually a very satisfying process and I quite enjoy it. 
but basically you're just peeling it off of this backing like so like that and then you can use the weeding tool to get out the D's and the A and all these other little parts. Okay, voila, we have our handsome like daddy decal. Isn't that so cute? Okay, I have moved into my kitchen <laughs> because it has a stone heat resistant top and it is the safest place to iron on our vinyl, which is going to be the next step. So this little handy dandy, awesome, life-changing gadget is the Cricut Easy Press. And basically it is a gigantic iron that is all a surface of evenly distributed heat. Um, and you can adjust the temperature and you can adjust the time and it comes with this little handy dandy reference chart that I keep with the easy press just so I know what I'm dealing with every single time I go to press something. So I have it set for the light iron on and 100% cotton since we're using a shirting. Um, but you can see it has all these different fabric types um, indicated here. And basically all you do is you set the temperature and you set the time to whatever the chart indicates. This is the Easy Press mat, which is um, uh, what they recommend to use with the Easy Press, just to make sure, again, you get even heat distribution. Um, basically, the goal here is just to make sure that this vinyl decal gets on there and stays on there. Um, I have tried this with a regular iron, which is possible, um, but as you know, your regular iron doesn't have even heat all along the plate. There are hot spots and cool spots. Um, also, the plate of the iron is much smaller than the, this plate here. Um, so it works, but this is certainly easier. It is faster, and to me, it just guarantees a better adhesion. So anyways, you pick up your Easy Press, you plop it right down, you press the logo, the timer starts to tick down. Okay, beeps when it's done, you remove it, you flip over your garment, and you do the same thing to the other side, but the other side you only need to do like half the amount of time. So if you wanted, let's do this right. Um, let's go timer, and let's go down to 15 seconds. Set the timer, plop it down, Green button. Beeps when we're done. And then you flip this over and you need to let it cool completely, which is why I like to put it on the cold stone. Um, it usually doesn't take that long. Like it's already cool to the touch. And let's see if I can do it one handed. And then you peel back the lining carefully. Probably one-handed is not recommended. <laughs> Keep peeling. That just shows how good it's stuck on there if I can do it with one hand. And voila, we have our handsome like daddy decal ironed on. So cute, I am in love. Okay, fun little trick because I'm a sewist. And because I like shortcuts, I took one of our main body pieces and adhered the interfacing on the Easy Press mat with the Easy Press machine. Not even kidding. It was very easy. Um, I'll show you with this one.
And in case you're wondering, this base does come with the Easy Press, so you can always dock it into here and it protects, you know, obviously your surface. This does still get hot underneath though, which is why they recommend that you do it on a stone or heat resistant surface. Concrete works really well outside if you don't have stone countertops. Okay, and we are all done. Just like usual, you want your interfacing to completely cool, just like the vinyl decal, but you get a great seal, no little corners popping up um, like you can get with your iron sometimes. And you can see it took all of one minute to um, interface this entire body here. Super, super exciting. Okay, here's the second little muslin that I made. I wanted to show you how I did the little extenders. So basically, I just sewed, or I just cut um, little square pieces that are the same width as the edge here. So you'll sew those right sides together on all four, one, two, three, four sides. Um, and then for the neck, um, I didn't need to have Velcro here. I could just slip this over his head and then only Velcro around the body. To me, that was easier. Um, and I couldn't think of any reason, like safety-wise, why you would have to have Velcro there. I'm sure you guys will fill me in <laughs> if there is one. Um, so for that, I just cut little rectangles and then I sewed them up. Um, I cut four of them. There are two more somewhere. Um, anyways, <laughs> right sides together and then sewed around three sides, flipped it right side out, and then attached those here. Okay, I just wanted to update you on where we are. So you can see that I have sewn those little extenders right sides together, pressed the seams open. I've also sewn the extenders over here along three sides, turned them right side out, and then I have pinned them just kind of haphazardly to the, um, to the edge here. And now we are going to place this right sides together and this part is really all just in the instructions um if you don't need the extenders you you know would just follow the sewing instructions that came with your digital pattern but you're going to sew along here all along all these edges all these curves it's a lot of fun and then stop leaving a gap of about three or four inches so that you can turn it right sides out so we're going to sew it together clip all these curves so that it lays nice and flat whenever you're done and then turn it right sides out and I'll show you what we have when I'm done with that. Okay, I've got her all turned out and you can see my little extenders are sewn in um, and I've got this one over here. So now this just needs like a really, really good press um, using your iron with steam and a tailor's clapper if you have one and you just want to try and get all these seams super 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 flat all right getting closer now just the finishing details so we need to close up our little hole that we used to turn and then we need to close up this little collar I just overlap the two and sew a gigantic rectangle and call it a day Sunny doesn't care <laughs> and then I have these little velvet Velcro squares, Velcro brand, little squares, they're sticky, you know, I'm sure they're pretty easy to find even though I don't have the original packaging. And you just want to make sure that you get this, you know, fitted around your little pup and you put one sticky side here and one sticky side here and slap them together. So I'm going to finish this up and then chase Sonny around with the camera and hopefully get some good footage of him wearing his brand new handsome like daddy shirt, perfect for Father's Day. So handsome. Come on, come here. Come on. Sonny, sit. Good boy, show everyone your new coat. Show everyone your new coat. So cute. So cute. I think he thinks I have treats. Yes. Sit. 
Oh, look how nice. Oh, a nice over the shoulder look too. <laughs> you are a better model than I ever imagined. All right, you guys, there we go. Handsome like daddy. Say happy Father's Day to all the daddies. Happy Father's Day. I think he just wants the pets. Say happy Father's Day. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for us here. I really hope you liked the tutorial and that you will go check out um, Cricut Maker and the simplicity patterns that they have to offer everyone. So from me and Sunny, <laughs> we will see you next time. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. <laughs>